Hi everyone, I'm back. And today, iba naman ang ituturo ko sa inyo. Because during the past months, puro tayo pagluluto. Ngayong hapon, ang gagawin natin is basic baking. Marami sa inyo, especially those following me on Facebook, nagre-request sila ng baking recipes because natatakot silang mag-bake. Ang baking, madali lang yan. Hindi mo na kailangan kumuha ng formal baking education para makagawa ng mga simpleng baked goods. Ang kailangan mo lang is to explore, to be open-minded, and to know some of the basics na makukuha mo naman online and by reading some baking books. So ngayong araw, ituturo ko sa inyo ang aking special crinkle recipe na bagay na bagay para sa mga beginners at sa inyo na marunong na mag-bake at magluto na balak magnegosyo dahil napakadali nito gawin. Makikita ninyo dito sa mesa, basic ingredients that as promised, mabibili ninyo in supermarkets ng abot kaya at hindi mo kailangan ng mga mamahaling gamit para gawin to. So first, kailangan mo ng brown sugar, eggs, corn oil, pwede ka din gumamit ng canola oil, cocoa powder. So magpapaliwanag ako sa inyo ng cocoa powder. Marami sa atin, nagsasabi na ay kaya masarap yung ginagamit niyang uh, mga produkto is dahil imported yan, mahal yan, hindi namin kayang bilhin. Sa totoo lang, hindi totoo yun. Okay? Ang quality ng ingredients ay nagbabase sa ating knowledge. So, tuturuan ko kayo. In my kitchen, we use two brands of cocoa powder. This is Valrona brand. This is a premium brand. Pagka sinabing premium brand ng cocoa powder, mas mataas yung kanyang fat content. Okay? Pag mataas ang fat content ng cocoa powder, mas melt in your mouth yung texture ng anything that you bake. This one is an ordinary cocoa powder. This is Ben Storp brand. Ito naman ang kalimitan kong ginagamit kasi abot kaya siya. 350 pesos to 400 pesos per kilo. Compared to Valrona, 1,500 to 2,000 pesos per kilo. Ngayon, pag ba ito yung ginamit ko, talagang masarap yung produkto ko? Oo. Pag ito naman yung ginamit ko, 350 pesos, masarap pa din yung produkto mo, pero syempre, hindi kasing sarap nito. Okay? What you can do is, kung pangbenta, pwede ito yung gamitin mo. Kung pang special occasion, pwede ito. But again, whichever you use, masarap pa din yan. Ngayon, paano mo malalaman? Amuyin mo. Pag yung amoy ng cocoa powder is amoy na amoy mo yung chocolate, amoy na amoy mo yung favorite chocolate cake mo, good quality yon. Kung nagdududa ka pa din, bumili ka muna ng konti, itimpla mo as hot chocolate. Kung yung lasa na gustuhan mo, for sure, masarap din yon for your baked product. Okay? So today, I'm using Valrona. And for my melted chocolate, I'm using Belgian chocolate. Pero kung namamahalan ka sa Belgian chocolate, You can always use ordinary chocolate. This is Belcolad Real Chocolate, Real Belgian Chocolate brand. This is all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Now, ganong kabilis gawin itong recipe na to? Very, very easy. Makikita mo yung order of ingredients. Kung ano yung nauunang ingredient, yun ang nauunang papasok sa mixing bowl mo. And again, you don't need to use a mixer for this recipe. So this is brown sugar that is firmly packed. This is one and one fourth cups. Ngayon, kung marami sa inyo yung medyo, paano ba yung firmly packed na yan? Paano ba yung uh, uh, leveled? Punta tayo dito sa side na to so I can show you. So, these are the basic ingredients that we normally use in baking. So, for example, for this recipe, kailangan mo ng one cup of all-purpose flour. Many of you, paano ba yun? Paano ba mag-measure ng one cup? So, this is one cup measuring cup. Okay? I always buy stainless kasi pang matagalan yan. Because if you buy yung plastic, kung kailangan mong 
uh, painitan ng konti, one cup melted butter or uh, other ingredients that require heating or melting, mas matibay ang stainless. Okay? And when you use stainless, hindi kumakapit ang amoy. In baking, it's very important that you retain the natural aroma of each of the ingredient for optimum flavor. So, one cup of flour, I'm going to scoop in the measuring cup dito sa aking flour. And then, using a flat spatula, I'm going to level it. So, you have one cup of flour. All-purpose flour. Kung kailangan mo naman ng brown sugar, tatlong klase yan. Pag nakalagay sa recipe mo, one cup brown sugar, yun lang ang nakasulat. Yung brown sugar mo, i-level mo lang. So, that's one cup of brown sugar. Kung nakasulat naman sa recipe mo, one cup of brown sugar uh, packed, lagay mo yan and then ipack mo ng konti. Ipikpik mo lang ng konti. And then i-level mo. So, this is one cup of brown sugar packed. If a recipe calls for one cup of brown sugar firmly packed, Katulad nung sa recipe natin today, kuha ka ng brown sugar, isiksik mo, firmly pack it, and then you level it. So this is your one cup of brown sugar firmly packed. So it's very, very basic. You just need to review basic grammar kung paano sinulat yung one cup brown sugar packed, one cup brown sugar firmly packed. Susundin mo lang yon literally. So, into my bowl, I'm going to put my brown sugar, eggs, corn oil or canola oil. It's very important that you use corn oil or canola oil. Why? Because these types of oil, they do not solidify pagka nilagay mo sa loob ng ref. So, ang mangyayari, if you want to prolong the shelf life of your crinkles or whatever you're baking, and pinasok mo sa loob ng ref, hindi titigas yung produkto mo kahit kainin mo ng malamig. So, into the bowl. Cocoa powder also into the bowl. And the melted chocolate. How do I melt chocolate? Pinapasok ko lang to sa microwave oven. That is the easiest and safest way to melt your chocolate. Because of course, uh, you will see a lot of videos and instructions telling you na tunawin mo yung chocolate on a double boiler. That's also a good way, but kalaban ng chocolate ang tubig. So if you do it in a double boiler, you're producing steam by boiling the water underneath. Pag natuluan ng tubig yung chocolate mo, hindi siya matutunaw ng maayos. So again, the safest way to melt chocolate, especially in small quantities, is just in the microwave oven. So pag nalagay mo na yung ingredients mo, using a wire whisk, you just mix it until smooth. Kung mainit ang panahon, or mainit sa kusina mo, yung eggs na gagamitin mo, malamig. Ilagay mo muna sa ref for approximately 1 to 2 hours para yung crinkles mo hindi uh, masyadong runny. This crinkle recipe, by the way, it's, it's very special because it's very, very easy to make. Hindi mo na kailangan yan ilagay sa ref. Di ba normally, crinkle recipe that uh, you will find online or in cookbooks, after mixing, kailangan ipasok mo muna sa refrigerator. This one, Ah, uh, hindi na kailangan. I'll show you the technique later. Okay, I'll just put this on the sink. And, pag nahalo mo na yan, naging smooth na yung uh, mga wet ingredients mo, you can put in your flour. The all-purpose flour, the baking soda, the salt, and the baking powder. Ang crinkles, nilalagyan mo yan ng baking powder, baking soda. These two ingredients are what you call chemical leaveners. Ibig sabihin, pampaalsa sila ng kahit na anong binibake mo. But for this recipe, you're putting baking powder and baking soda hindi para paalsahin yung crinkles, but to neutralize the mixture. Ibig sabihin nun, yung crinkle, pag nilagay mo sa pan, 
dahil sa baking powder and baking soda, even yung kanyang pagbagsak. So, you will get a nice, even shape of crinkle. Siyempre, pag binenta mo, mas maganda kasi pantay-pantay. And you just mix it using a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon until the mixture becomes smooth and even. Ayan, again, hindi mo kailangan gamitan yan ng mixer. Kamay lang. And you know the good thing about this, kasi I, I know the next question is, okay, hindi nga kailangan gamitan ng mixer, kaso wala naman kaming oven. So sa namin ibebake yan. You can actually use an oven toaster. So for those of you na nagsisimula pa lang magbenta ng baked goods, crinkles, brownies, cookies are the most, uh, some of the most uh, friendly recipes na pwede mong pagsimulan. Pag wala ka nang nakikitang flour, basically, nag-switch na ako sa scraper. This is called a scraper or a rubber spatula. Ginagamit natin to during the last part of mixing para yung mga dumikit na butter sa gilid ng mixing bowl at sa ilalim ay masasaid mo. Okay? When you no longer see traces of flour, you stop mixing. Kasi pag hinalo mo pa ng hinalo yan, you will overmix the batter, which will result to tough crinkles. Makunat na makunat and matigas. You want it soft and chewy. Okay? So I stop mixing it, and I will prepare the next step. So after mixing the crinkle, the next step is for you to prepare your baking pan. So this is a sheet pan or a cookie pan and I'm going to line it with parchment paper. This is a non-stick parchment paper. Lalagay ko lang yan ganyan. Okay? Pwede mo din brushan yan ng shortening or ng butter para hindi manikit yung iluluto mo or yung ibe-bake mo. But I find using parchment pa paper better. Okay? Because of course, less fat and mas even yung browning sa ilalim ng cookies mo. And then I have here white sugar, granulated white sugar, and powdered sugar. Or icing sugar, or confectioner's sugar. Sa mga bago pa lang nagbebe, powdered sugar, icing sugar, confectioner's sugar, pare-pareho po yan. Okay? Ito po yan, powdered sugar. Okay? Now, I'm using an ice cream scooper. This is very, very helpful when you're making cookies and especially kung balak mong inigosyo because consistent yung size. This is a number 20 ice cream scooper. Okay? I'm going to use this to scoop out my crinkle. Make sure level siya. Pagka-scoop niya, ilalagay ko muna yan sa white sugar. Pagkalagay ko sa white sugar, I'm going to coat it lightly. Lightly lang ha, because you don't want it very sweet. And then, I'm going to coat it next with powdered sugar. And then, put it onto the pan. Now, I'm going to explain to you habang tinutuloy ko to, kung bakit siguro nakabasa ka ng recipe or you've seen videos of crinkle. Pero dinidiretsyo na nila sa powdered sugar. Here's the explanation. I've learned this technique. Dapat secret to, but uh, sineshare ko na sa lahat para hindi na kayo nahihirapan sa paggawa ng crinkle. I learned this technique in New York, in a bakery in New York. What they do is, pag nirolyo nila yung crinkle butter onto the granulated sugar, during baking, natutunaw yung granulated sugar. It forms a protective layer Okay, like a caramel dun sa labas ng cookie mo. So, ang gagawin niya, padidikitin niya yung powdered sugar doon sa cookie mismo. Di ba ang sakit ng crinkle, the normal crinkle that you would bake or buy, habang kinakain mo, nalalaglag yung powdered sugar. Or, binabalot mo pa lang yung crinkles, nanguhubad na yung powdered sugar, which is very frustrating. Because if that happens, hindi na siya crinkle nawawala kasi yung kanyang uh, powdered sugar design. So, using this technique, okay, 
you will keep the powdered sugar and the protective layer na ginagawa nitong granulated sugar mo dun sa labas ng crinkle mo will keep your crinkles moist even up to 2 weeks. Matagal ang buhay ng crinkles because it's high in sugar, chocolate, and fat. When I do this recipe for special people or for special occasions, I sometimes use butter, which is also very good. Mas masarap actually. But the only disadvantage if you use butter for this formula or for this recipe, umiikli yung kanyang shelf life. Why? Kasi mas mabilis kumanta or mas mabilis maging rancid ang butter compared to oil. So I'm going to finish scooping these crinkles and then I'm going to show you how to bake it. So one recipe, yung tinuro ko sa inyong recipe, may can produce up to 15 crinkles. Okay? And I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When you preheat your oven, do it at least 15 to 20 minutes. My oven, pag nag-blue siya, ibig sabihin, uh, it's ready, 350 na yung temperature. So I'm going to put it in. So it doesn't matter kung sang rock mo ilagay, as long as your oven uh, is, is well calibrated. Ibig sabihin, you can see this oven has three racks, one, two, three. So kung marami kang order ng crinkles, kung marami ang order sa akin ng crinkles, pwede kong punuin yan para tikid ako sa gas. It doesn't matter, pantay-pantay pa din ang luto niyan as long as maganda yung heat distribution ng oven mo. If you feel like hindi na pantay yung init ng oven, you have to contact your uh, provider for uh, calibration. Ibig sabihin nun, dilinisin lang nila yung loob ng oven, they will check if the wires are still properly working. I'm going to bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. So ilalagay ko muna sa 12 minutes. And after 12 minutes, I'm going to check it. If it's already almost firm or almost dry na yung ibabaw, okay na yun. Okay? Pag medyo uh, basa-basa pa yung ibabaw, I bake it for 3 more minutes, making it total 15 minutes baking time. Okay, so nagrin na yung timer. After 12 minutes, I'm going to check it. Okay, it's very important you touch the exterior. Pag almost firm na yan, makikita mo almost firm and mukhang tuyo na, okay na yan. Don't uh, wait for it to become uh, super firm dahil pag ganun, pati yung loob niya is magiging dry. Ang mangyayari niyan, magiging cakey yung crinkles mo instead of it uh, becoming fudgy. Ilalagay ko yan sa cooling rack. So, this is a cooling rack. Para even yung paglamig ng crinkles. Okay? Kasi pag ilagay mo lang yan sa flat surface kagaya nitong mesa, diniretso mo sa mesa, magpo-form siya ng steam sa ilalim, magiging basa-basa or soggy yung iyong crinkles. So, we wait for it to cool down for approximately 10 to 15 minutes before we try it. So, makikita mo, hindi nahuhubad yung powdered sugar sa ibabaw. That is because of the technique that we did earlier. Yung inuna mo, yung granulated sugar. So, palamigin natin ang content, then I'm going to show you what's inside. So after 10 to 15 minutes of cooling the, the crinkles on a uh, wire rack, pwede na natin siyang tikman. So uh, look, as promised, hindi basta-basta mahuhubad yung uh, powdered sugar. See? It stays. And the wrinkles, they also stay. Hindi pag nathubad yung powdered sugar, mawawala na din yung, yung cracked design. That is because of the granulated sugar. Dahil niroll yung mo siya muna, on granulated sugar and kung ibabalot mo yan you want to wait for it to cool down completely 
to prevent moisture. Kasi pagka natrap yung moisture sa packaging, dyan yung nasisira ng mabilis yung crinkle mo. And if you uh, want to, to see what's inside, you see how nice and moist. Okay? Moist na moist yung loob niya. And if you try it, mm, very gooey. Medyo mainit-init pa siya. And I'm sure, mas masarap ito pag lumamig. Because baked products like cookies, sprinkles, cakes, pag napahinga mo yan, mas nagde-develop yung flavor. Nagde-redistribute lahat ng oils. So, mas sumasarap. So, I'm looking forward to pack this and give, this, give it to, to family and friends. And I'm looking forward to see your posts too. Please tag me when you bake your crinkles. And remember, the secret stays in our kitchen. Huwag niyong ipagkakalat. See you again on our next recipe date.